Yo, what's good? You are now tuned in to another episode of the 3% Show. I am your host, Jay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, from the town. I'm your host, Jay Davis, uh, a.k.a. Big Brown Goofy, a.k.a. Big Damn It Boy, Goofy. a.k.a. that civilized Negro that just made it out of the hood. I'm sitting here with somebody that I've been knowing for... Ooh. It's, been, it's been an hour. One hour with Lil Danae. Lil Danae. We used to work together back in KC. She's from the Mo side, I'm from the K side. But um, <laughs> give us a little bit about yourself. But without further ado, like I said, this is somebody that um, I've truly admired over the years. She's mm -hmm. virtuous, she's honest, she's still a young lady, you know. She's, she ain't been tainted too much in the world. Not out here in the streets. Out here, <laughs> and recently moved to Houston. So by any means, I'm gonna stop talking. Please introduce yourself. I'm Danae. Formerly known as Little Danae. Um, to everybody. For everybody. Yeah, yeah. From Kansas City, Missouri. Representing. <laughs> um, a little bit about myself. Let's see. Nurse practitioner, mm -hmm. friend, auntie. What else? I don't know. Business owner. Bus which leads us here. There we go. Right back, back. Next level, you. There you go. We're going to get into that a little bit. So. And again, I, I appreciate you. You gotta understand this young lady is uber talented. And, and uh, shy. And shy. <laughs> but um, as you know, I know I'm a person that if I believe in something and I believe in you, uh -huh. I um, I truly want to like push you forward. Yeah. People like you give me a reason to go ahead and do stuff like this. So I want to give you your flowers. Like I always say, it doesn't matter if you're just starting or if you're huge. I just want to give people their flowers so they can go ahead and receive it and be, you know, be able to pay it forward. So you definitely got a motivation. So he's the reason why I'm sitting here now because I wouldn't have never done this on my own. I had to put my glasses on because yeah. she's smart. Both, both of us. Civilized Negro. Negro. So <laughs> being from Kansas City, Kansas. No, Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, you're right. Um, give us a little bit about your upbringing. Were you upbringing? a shy person? Very you have shy. a huge brain. So let's tap into that. Who are huge you as brain. a kid? I was a nerd. Still am a nerd. Mm -hmm. Um. As a kid, I was quiet. I'm an introvert. I don't like a lot of, you know, I like to be in the background. I'm a supporter. You play in the black ground. Uh, the black ground. I like to support, right. cheer people on, you know, do my, you know, do my support thing. It's hard for me to um, get out here on my own. You know, it's like I realized um, if you want to be a business owner, you can't be an introvert. Not really. It's hard, you know, walking mm -hmm. up to people, trying to sell yourself, promote yourself, and then the rejection, you know. The so. rejection, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so getting over that is really, really nerve-wracking for a person that just likes to be in the background chilling. So, yeah. um, like, this right here is uh, a little nervous for me. Uh, <laughs> well, I think you, you should um, relax. I mean, you think of it this way. You've come so far just to do that. Yeah, you know, I should be used to uh, um, something like this because when I do, like, pay, see patients and everything and I'm rounding and I don't know them, but you know, I understand, you know, I go and I have to do my thing. I think the difference is in um, trying to be a business owner, if I'm gonna focus on that, is um, you have to sell yourself. You don't have to sell yourself to a patient, you know, cause they know what they're there for um, and what you're there for. Mm -hmm. So um, having to get out here and tell them you about yourself. You can talk to me, you can talk to me. Don't worry about the camera, we're here. We, okay, we're here, we're here. Feel comfortable, breathe a little okay. bit, breathe a little bit, you good. So, um, just when you go on a patient then you know what you're dealing with versus mm -hmm. oh i'm about to go out here and try to promote my business so mm -hmm. i'm walking with complete strangers and trying to tell them about yourself and sell them and get them to understand that you're not trying to scam them and get them for their money that this is a real right, business right. um because there's a lot of fake right. things out there yeah, so. the social media out there it's a lot of um situations that will either give you anxiety as far as a business owner or consumers anxiety mm -hmm. to see if it's fraudulent or if it's a real deal and you have to show yourself, like, okay, they need to see your work and everything, and if you are good at what you do. You know, for me, uh, I don't do anything unless I actually know what I'm doing. Uh, I pride myself on trying to have a good reputation. So I'm not going to touch a person, patient, uh, client, whatever, unless I'm absolutely sure. Uh, I think about it in the sense of if I was seeing, if this was a client or a, or a patient, um, if I know what I'm doing. So if I don't yeah. know what I'm doing, I'm not going to do it. And if I respectfully mm -hmm. decline the offer. Yeah. And that's how it should be. I mean, that goes into um, 
Integrity, mm -hmm. honesty, integrity, honesty. and character. Right, because it's not always about the dollar. Mm -hmm. For me, is you know that's at the end of the day, you know, you're trying to make your business lucrative, but um, it's about getting quality results for mm -hmm. me. And I think even though they say bad news spreads faster, you know, if you get some people to do a good job, you can get just as much Absolutely. attention in that way. So I'm thinking of that because the last time I saw you before you actually moved to Houston was 2000 and eight or nine because i moved here 2011 and i had left the water department mm -hmm. she used to be in there mixing chemicals she doing the grimiest jobs and now she's yeah, she washed her hands off. Job, well, she know, was i'll sitting. be honest you know i had people looking out for the kids <laughs> <laughs> shout out to kenny <laughs> um who else i want to shout out that makes slusher he made it easy for me um tommy Tom oh tommy, tommy. Tommy Not Tommy you know. from Martin, y'all. He actually got no, a job. No, Tommy ain't got no job. He used <laughs> to sit on the hill just pressing buttons. <laughs> oh, and you know, of course, we got to shout out Royce then, because I trained him and this one, okay? I didn't pass my test. Well, that didn't have nothing to do with me, though, I was too busy going back and forth to St. Louis kicking it. Yeah, I was too busy in the books and training. Absolutely. So, so you are here now, next level you. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that... Well, here, let's break down this situation because, you know, we have, you know, regular conversations. And I always believe that um, even I'm on my weight loss journey. Um, but I believe that sometimes when people say beauty doesn't matter, that's an individual statement yeah. to what ties into the beauty portion. Um, <clears throat> so if you can, give us a little bit more insight on what Next Level You offers mm -hmm. um, as far as the things that you do. So I originally started out with uh, semi-permanent makeup. Um, I felt like, okay, it's a good stepping stone. But I also want to- what's semi-permanent makeup? Semi-permanent makeup is like lip blushing, eyebrows, you mm. know. Um, okay, you know I'm an eyebrow person. A lot, so. you know, strokes, you know, microblading, micro shading, mm -hmm. things like that. For when you have, you can have all type of things that happen to your eyebrows, you know, whether you tweeze them, um, raising them too much, or just getting older. Health-wise, um, too. Health-wise, I mean, or allergic too. reactions. That's yeah. what happened to me. And then, you know, you go back and you get them fixed, essentially, um, to, you know, to make yourself feel good. And then, you know, for people, I'm not a makeup person. I don't really wear a lot of makeup. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, lipstick, eyeliner, mascara. She good, good. <laughs> but uh, for people that, you know, and that's my next level, you know. Right. So my next level is what I do. Next level, you whatever you do. So if it's your eyebrows, your lips, teeth whitening, um, I'm doing weight loss man. Well, I don't want to say weight loss because everybody's journey is different. So right. I changed it to weight management mm -hmm. because I've always been a small person. You know, I've never had issues with being small. I had issues holding on to my weight. Right. So I had to look at it from a different perspective. So I do weight management, um, and then uh, going into and I wanted to hone in on my. I'm a nurse practitioner, primary care side, so uh, sexual dysfunction, like hair loss. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, so the simplified is, okay, so we're going to go with the eyebrows first, right? Okay. Okay, so you do microblading here. It's great and it's studio. not as painful as people think, honestly. If they know what they're doing, it's not as painful mm -hmm. and scary like the actual real tattoo. Okay, okay, so you do microblading, mm -hmm. so we know you got to keep your eyebrows. <laughs> Eyebrows. My mother once told me if you see a woman with no eyebrows or hair down to her behind, most likely her hair ain't real. And that stuck with me. Not saying that every, not everybody, but I'm just saying, like, she legit told me that. And ever since then, while I looked at women, I looked at the eyebrows first. Mm -hmm. That was always something. Okay. So you're doing the eyebrows, the teeth whitening portion. Teeth whitening. Now, I will be participating and next year i pride myself on like good oral hygiene and having mm -hmm. good nice white teeth and i actually wipe my own teeth but I mean, before then i used to go get them done but i just take care of my teeth though but yeah. it's always good so i don't do teeth whitening i have people come in and get a consultation which is free free and, consultation um, how much was it free okay go ahead okay Free, free. What did Chappelle say? <laughs> <laughs> Chappelle say, like, free, free. Free, free. Free 99 for the consultation. You know, Can't be there. Not the fifth, free. That's free. what you say. Okay. Um, but if you have issues with your teeth, then, you know, you can get referred to a dentist or whatever, and then you can come back and see me, or you can get your teeth whitened at your dentist, or whatever you want to do. But it's kind of a health check if you think about it. 
Um, and then you said you get the microblading, microblading. teeth whitening. Uh, also, the, with the, the lips, you get the blush. Yeah, yeah. About so this people that got dark lips or whatever, and they want to make them lighter or more natural looking, you can do it that way to neutralize the lips. So it's the shading, not necessarily mm -hmm. your contour. Now, like your, your... When you come contour, you want to do some lip fillers. Because I'm thinking I don't want people to think they're going to come in here and try to get Kylie Jenner's and the lip implants. No, you're not going to get no Kylie Jenner's, but what you get... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what you will get is, um, so going back, so lip blushing is basically you want to pull the dark pigment out of your lips and try to neutralize that and bring them up to be a little bit lighter so that you could put the permanent makeup in. And people think it's one session, not for lips, it's multiple sessions because mm -hmm. it just depends on how your body wants to pull out the pigment, the, the natural mm -hmm. pigment out of the, out of the skin or mm -hmm. the lip person for, um, for lips. So I'm you, just saying, if you got... <laughs> <laughs> the job yeah, the watching you a little bit more lips. and you look like you got little Obama lips. We here to tell you. No, Obama, don't do him. Obama's lips dark. Hey, hey. But I'm just saying. Don't come from a shell. You have options. If you ever thought about it, if it's something that's on your mind, like I just paid attention to the most random thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what lip blushing was for, so you can almost give them the pouty look kind of. No, that's that's fillers. Lip blushing is color. Okay, so the color shows. For some people or young ladies, men, whoever, mm -hmm. you're literally lightening up your lips so your Basically. colors of the lipsticks and the yep. glosses mm -hmm. will pop more. Or even if they don't want to go like a permanent pink or permanent red, you make mm -hmm. them like pink enough where they can just put on whatever color they want to go. Okay, so you or they want to do natural lip and have that natural pink or natural like kind of brownish for us brown girls lips, um, you can get that. Say less. I get it. I get it. Yeah. All right, so we did that, but we didn't talk about you know the finish the permanent makeup because some women won't like that fake beauty mark. We do beauty marks, freckles. I like freckles. now. I don't like. I, like I don't freckles. do eyeliner. I'm scared to touch the eye, so I don't do eyeliner. <laughs> but you're gonna do the freckles. <laughs> I do the freckles. I do the freckles, the beauty mark, but I won't touch your eyes, y'all. You gotta go like somewhere. Like a woman with freckles. Okay. You get a woman with the freckles and not a little gap between eyes. Oh, Dang, right there on the with him. Little around my arm. So we got microblading, we got the lips, we have the freckle contour. The freckle. I'm gonna call it freckle contour. The Everything. Freckles. The beauty the, the mark. Jenny Jackson. The nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. Anytime he plays Jenny Jackson, y'all. Okay. 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 <laughs> so we're gonna go to the drip, and I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the stuff that I'm scared of. I don't understand why they want to put orange juice in their body. Tell us about this drip that you do. The drip that I do. The IV. The IV drip. That's what I oh, that's later in the future. I'm not doing that right now. I'm doing the sexual, the weight. I was trying to wait for the sexual. Part. Let's do the weight next. Come on, okay, take okay, two. Okay, take Tell two. Tell us about this weight. The weight, like I said, the weight, weight management, management okay. is for people who want to either be like myself. I, I don't want to put on fat, so. Um, full and fine. Full and fine. There's no such thing as a BBW anymore because BBW has been used and exhausted like the word love. And I'll never be a BBW, okay? I'll well, be, you, can, you can't put on, you can't hold. I can't hold my weight, so, yeah. So, full and fine, ladies full and, and fine, gentlemen. Full and fine, that's what I'm trying brothers, to Brothers, if you. I got together, y'all. My if next, you ask your boys and your boys, which, just say full and fine. Full Let them fine. see what she looks like. Then they can create their own thing. If you say yeah. BBW, everybody going to be thinking you're talking about old girl off a Friday getting out the car. Okay. You know, or y'all can reference Dre because he said he like a BBW. Yeah, but Drake's track record. He, he lying. I ain't seen. You need to get with Lizzo. Um, <laughs> she has been shooting a shot, y'all, for shooting those. Shooting the shot. So. <laughs> then keep it up. <laughs> with the weight management, uh -huh. what is this about? Because you offered it to me, and for me, the way you broke it down, and the honesty of it, mm -hmm. I didn't want to lose that much weight according to the diet. And, you you know how it does, but weight. let's learn like, about, a little bit about that, what all it entails. So they have different ways to get, you know, weight loss. So we're focusing on weight loss. It's, uh, you know, medications and stuff for weight management. It's not medication. I mean, weight to build up your weight. is not any medications mm -hmm. involved. Uh, so they have different ways to help you weight. Uh, fat burners, you know, appetite suppressants. Now, um, these are pills or this pills diets, and pills, and, and diet. okay. It's mostly 100% diet, but when you combine it with like medications like pills or an injection that you have mm. to do or anything like that, it's still based off your diet. But like um, they have like the HCG diet, which we can go into that on another day, but it's a type of diet that um, you do this regimen for a certain amount of time, and then when you 
the where people mess up at is they think they can go back to their old diet and then they fall off and they pick up all the weight because you're going to lose the weight really fast and you'll look really good and you'll be satisfied with the results but they don't teach you that you have to like first wean yourself off the hcg diet itself and then mm -hmm. you have to have a sustainable diet so you feel like with the clientele that you will be um having and that you're expecting you're willing to give them the honesty because mm -hmm. you feel like your job is to do that portion what they came for instead of just keeping it's them about the dollar all the time it's okay. about the dollar all the time it's about quality of your life and you know what makes you your next level you so it's about that for me like i'm happy with uh you know knowing that i help somebody get to where they want to be versus like Oh, I just made, you know, X amount of dollars off of you. And then yeah. you're mad at me later on because you didn't put back that put that weight back so on. So that quick dollar so, comes back with yeah, 20 folds with bad content, and that, bad. The person keeps coming back anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we have the, the weight management. That was a weight loss, the weight management. Uh, or if you want to be like me and try to, like, put on weight. Uh, and I'm not saying, like I said, fat is more of a muscle. I mean, you get a little bit of fat in there. But... That's 100% all diet and exercise, you know. You that's kind to, of people with high metabolisms, period, or... Is yeah, this I guess I have a high metabolism, yeah. So, um... Yeah. I lost my high metabolism at 30. <laughs> 30 Lord as soon Jesus. as I hit 40, everything was sticking. I'm built like, no. I'm built like Hank Hill. No, I got, so I got a whole fanny pack. Y'all find y'all um, <laughs> y'all person that y'all like is a goal, and that's what you stick with. You know, I don't necessarily know who my goal person is, you know, because it's just a dude wanting to show up on my arms. Okay. So, but okay. I, I got there. Don't let the shirt fool you. She got, she got, don't even, don't even, <laughs> <laughs> don't even play me out like that. She got arms up under this top here, y'all. But no, seriously, um, for me, it, I had, I had to learn this and I've been doing this for a while as far as being like healthcare provider mm -hmm. and then also just being in a gym. I thought it was one way, but it was actually, you have to make yourself eat. And that was my thing. Yeah, I don't eat enough. So, yeah. And if you don't eat enough, you know, and you're trying to lose weight, you're going to be defeating the whole purpose as well. So That's my problem. I do yeah. not eat enough. Yeah, then you got to get you together. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> so, yeah, you have to make yourself eat. It has to be disciplined eating, like, literally. I meal prep. So, and then with the, that's the diet part, meal prepping, being disciplined, eating the right foods and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But also, um getting active more so for a person that's trying to put on weight i.e muscle you got to lift some weight you know yep. and believe in yourself because i'm believing myself okay i was like hold up wrong one built in a day and um <laughs> they had me out here lifting these heavy weights and stuff next catching all the side eyes come to find out a sister can lift some weight i told she you she underestimated herself they're like you, you know you. what that's you a misconception in the a lot of than people, you think a lot of people's well, women, because you know, they say we lose weight. We go take a pee and we lost five That's pounds. a fact for men, y'all. Uh, I have a friend when, that, yeah. When you lift weights, it actually helps your body. It does. You would and think you it's going to give calories. you so much mass. Right. Yeah. If you're doing everything in the right manner. Now, this next section, um, I didn't know what it was. Never heard about it. She kind of explained how it works. And I was just like, you know what? Let me eat good. Let me get my rest. I'm about to be 45 next year. She's 25 for life, y'all, for, for those who <laughs> don't know. And anybody know me, know. <laughs> so tell us about this, this this other segment right quick. And again, we're here at Next Level U. I'm with Danae. She's uh, now located in Houston. What area are we in? Is this Cypress? This is Cypress. Okay, we're in um, Cypress area of Houston. Um, actually sitting in her um, studio. She has two tables. She she got everything in here. But tell us about this last segment. Let me help out. You all right? I'm good. You're this good? is not as awkward as I thought. Well, she was sweating. She got oh, look at that. But now it's just for keep the forehead from like, you know, the light and stuff. Okay, okay. I'm working <laughs> on the light next time. I'm no, it's not your light. It's mine. All right. So, this last section. Next section. The sexual dysfunction. Dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction, never heard of it. I thought what? it was something that you can buy, like Cyrillas or candies, like the little oh, no, gas station spice pills. things up, you know. But I'm just saying, Nieces I thought... nephews, if y'all watching this, get off right now. We don't want y'all to be, <laughs> you know, getting any tips and secrets and stuff from your Amy. <laughs> Go oh, God. 
All right, so what is sexual dysfunction? What is the, the title of it? Sexual dysfunction is for men and women. Mm -hmm. And actually... Um, Please say that again, because most people think it's, it's just men. men. It's men and women, and it actually happens early. It's, I don't know why. I think it's more um, environmental. There's a lot more people out here in younger ages that have sexual mm -hmm. dysfunction, as well as the ones in, as they get older. Okay. So, and people think, and you know, if you start prematurely, and I'm talking to the guys now, if you start prematurely with getting these, um, you know, taking these male enhancement pills, you're going to mess around and jack yourself up in the long run because you'll be dependent on it. So don't use it unless you need it, pretty much. Don't so, listen to so, your favorite rappers, rap. <laughs> so, you know, you're up here trying to go four hours and stuff and eight hours and stuff. <laughs> you're going to mess yourself up in the long run. It might happen once or twice, but you're going to be jacked up in the long run. I can't stress that. Eight hours. I need to know who, who they're dealing with because <laughs> every every woman, well, a lot of women nowadays are allergic to the latex portion. So, anyway, that's a whole other situation. Yeah, that's a whole other situation. Whole situation. So, sexual that's dysfunction. That's a whole other segment. Y'all so, we'll talk about that later. So, sexual dysfunction, dysfunction. how does that uh, dysfunction? Mm -hmm. Um, for a man, is that dealing with being able to get aroused erections. as far as penile erections? Penile erections. For women. And this, lasting. Like. Okay, so Minute Man and mm -hmm. Elephant Trunk. Mr. Snuffleupagus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what I wanted to know because a lot of time, men, we get drugged for being Minute Man. Can't get it right. Mm -hmm. X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. Now, this is just a theory. That I, I haven't looked it up yet, but does that deal with a woman's, when her mind and body can't connect, quote unquote? Of course. Does this deal with them being able to um, get moist? Um, does it, splash waterfalls. Let me what, reference Waterfalls? Some, splash some, waterfalls. There's some, 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 some deserts um, out there. There's some deserts out there. And so some women. A mist. <laughs> does it give them a mist? If a woman is emotionally detached, that, that'll give you a desert type situation. Yeah, but we're going to talk but about medical. Because if, if you emotionally, emotionally attached, detached, y'all don't need to be doing Y'all doing the Uchi Coochies. Then if you don't have all those things going on, then it could be hormonal. It's most time for women is hormonal. Right, because yeah. I'm thinking about like, what, is, what does that look like? Is it the dryness? It's is definitely it not dry, having the feeling in the clitoris? Painful. Is it, okay, because I know fibroids takes up. That's mm -hmm. something different. So mm -hmm. that's what I, women are so masterfully created. So it's so many things that it could be. So yeah. for women, what have you learned about sexual dysfunction and the way that you're able to treat it? What type of things? For a lot of times for women, it's a hormone imbalance, either even if it's a young young lady or mm -hmm. an older a lady or seasoned, as they call it. What, no, they you want to become matured. Matured women. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say seasoned. Matured, okay? Matured like women. seasoned women. You like seasoned women? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, you like a lot of spice, y'all. I like, I like something. They okay. make my taste buds dance a little Ooh. bit. I don't like no bland. No, no anyway. bland. Okay. So, for um, the hormonal portion, are we it's talking most about hormonal. connecting to thyroids or just? Yeah, like, you know, our you know our body as we get older or when we're born, you know, we get a certain amount of things that we're born with. But it's like um, your body kind of just malfunctions you, you know. It, and, and it's something that you, yeah, it's something you should be, it. yeah, um, embarrassed. In fact, you just take care of it. There's so much stuff out here. But I'm going to say out here for men and women. There's a lot more things for men for sexual dysfunction. No, you're at that honey. I'm, I'm Listen, there's a about lot of, there's lot of, lot, I mean, a lot of ways to treat men with sexual dysfunction. It's like a handful of women. And but most, most of the time, time it fellas, works for women. Most of the time, you ain't trying to be where you really want to be. If your mind can't connect with your heart to where it's going to be, Is that a dog, you're just going through the motion. For real. Dudes, when Say dudes, when dudes say they just happen to to slip in it, literally, like, every person a dude is smashing doesn't mean that he truly wants to be with them. Oh, wow. even, okay, that's even, a fact. I mean, even sexually. That's a fact. We're just going through the motions of the Can opportunity that's present. It ain't even that. It's just the opportunity is there, and it happens. Hmm. I equivalent to, I, I equal that to how women may not physically be cheating, but they have their work boo. That gives them that same rush. I mean, you just seen it on Best Man Holiday when she hugged him and was like, mm. Mm -hmm. "Yeah, so that's that's the same thing." You're still knocking it down in your mind because y'all got every little thing. That's a whole other segment. Anywho, because, uh, so sexual <laughs> dysfunction, hormones. Yeah. Okay, so hormones. So nine times of ten now, is hormones. Is it? 
But for men, education-wise or whatever, you want to have somebody that knows what they're doing to balance out those hormones because y'all ain't trying to have no strokes and heart attacks out here trying to keep the... Keep yeah. the, you know, keep the passion going, okay? Yeah. So you can definitely, you don't want you know somebody color that purple. Is, yeah. <laughs> On top of me. But, <laughs> so are these, in, are these injections, are these pills? Because you told it's me a story of, of what it it's is. It's all of it. Like, and I agree. All, like men can get implants, implants, like penile implants. They have injections. They have pellets. They have pills. So what is next level you do? Or your I don't do implants. Do I don't want to do implants. That's not my calling, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing implants, but I do injections. I prescribe pills. So the uh, pills, pellets. the injections are actually. You stick. I don't know, Simon. Is so it in your vein? If you no, have to no, go no. to the okay, actual. Okay, so y'all want a real education? Bruh. Real, okay, before right. y'all decide to. Real before education. it start trending, this is what we need to know. <laughs> this is almost important is when you have to get your prostate checked to me. Oh. You have to make a decision. Look, it's three things. <laughs> Prostates, sexual dysfunction, colonoscopies, no. and catheters. Those are my um, biggest fears. You're not afraid of a colonoscopy? I mean, you gotta get done. Like, so you're one of those men that will do it? Because it's like a lot of men that won't do it. Wait, I know wait, you wait, are we talking about the prostate? Or just I love it. Get, prostate. Is the colonoscopy when they just whoosh it like Janet Jackson does before she get on tour to lose weight? It ain't no whooshing. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. I don't want the colonoscopy. I don't want you that don't ride. Want to it to you. We'll talk about that off camera. That's a whole other one. So <laughs> we will talk about that off camera. So I think it's important that with the sexual dysfunction thing, is this something that they can call you and say, "Hey, this is kind of." I know they're going to call their primary doctor, but some people will automatically you don't have to go call to primary. the pills. Like you don't have to call to. primary. If somebody knows how to do it, you have a, a provider that knows how to do it. it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be a primary, but it's somebody that should know what they're doing. Okay, because yeah. like I said, a lot of times people go to the gas station, go to their friends, go to, and without Don't knowing, going, okay, it, it I, may not work. I hate to put them back here on Front Street, but they used to eat, uh, mm -hmm. like a, remember mm -hmm. at the water department? No. <laughs> What me? Ain't nothing wrong with my <laughs> Wait, exactly you say on Golden Chain? You know exactly Ain't nothing wrong with my <laughs> yang. But um Yeah. yeah it's, it's, Don't be doing all them old remedies like that, y'all. Yeah. And uh but you know, you wanna go to somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, because again, you're not trying to stroke them out or, you know, give them a heart attack or And that's not. it's important because and, people's and overall, diets too. Diet, but you know, overall it's quality of life. So, I mean, are you trying to be Superman? No, you're just trying to do what you need to do move on with life, you know, because how many, I mean, honestly, you can't spend all day in a bed. I mean, just saying, somebody got to go to work. So, make it realistic, you know. Yeah. So, And I'm all about, you know, making it realistic and giving you real, um, you know, real goals and real expectations. So, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you, like, oh, you're going to go, you know, yeah. three, four, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours, blah, blah, blah. You want, well, that that goes to, you want the thing to work, okay? That's what it basically... <laughs> and then again, it goes back to what I'm saying about honesty and integrity. Honesty and, and character. Mm -hmm. You're going to give um, that information when you come to Next Level You. Bop, bop, and, um, bop, bop, bop. Depending on what's going on. Now, I have been around you. I can honestly say that I appreciate you coming on the show. Because, like I said, one of my biggest things is... Ever since I've known you, you've been in a book. You know what I'm saying? So when you told me about this, I think it was a year ago, you mm -hmm. was kind of talking about it two years ago. Mm -hmm. I even looked like, well, what do you mean you're already a nurse? I mean, you, you're killing it. Well, that's you know what I'm what saying? What more do you want to do, Danae? Oh, yeah, that is me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just proud. You got to understand, this young lady is a very humble person. She's actually a, a peaceful spirit. And Good I know boy. you're a woman, but she's actually still a girl. Like she 25 has for life. She, she, she a thug, right? But she's sensitive, she but she's thug. a thug. Baby so thug. <clears throat> basically, I just wanted to bring her on this show because I believe that she deserves her flowers. I believe in what she's doing. Sometimes, as you can tell, when you have the softer voice, then you got somebody on the dream team that wants to, to push it. And this is what I'm here to do. And I appreciate her trusting me enough to come on the show. But more than anything, mm -hmm. just believe in herself because my asshole thing that I tell people, including myself, is sometimes you got to get over who you think you are so you can find out who you really meant to be. That's what he told me. This was not as bad. We'll see how I'll do on the next segment, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, give us a little bit more information. On where you at on IG? Do you have? At Next Level U LLC on uh, IG. 
Um, same thing on uh, Facebook. My phone number is 832-774-4994. You want me to put that in the comments? Put in the comments. If you want your phone number, do you yeah. want to just put the... No, they can do that. They can call, call or text. All right, what's that number again? Give, give us that information again. A three. Do a close up with it. Say oh, it again. Uh, what is it? Forehead is shiny, y'all. Oh, uh, man. He on his pretty boy swag. He came all the way to check this stuff out. No, no, no. Look, 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 though. I'm getting the teeth white, man. I'm giving mm -hmm. some data data, but look. Listen. I got a little Anthony Hamilton's coming in. My beard. I'm, a, I'm in phase one of Kale on stage. Give us that awesome. information. Now, you look like somebody. Auntie. Now, scoot over. <laughs> You gotta sit up straight. There it is. Cause you were looking like that auntie that didn't know the phone was on. Oh, I knew it was on. That was by I because I, right, now, I am somebody place. auntie, just so y'all know. But <laughs> what they say on uh TikTok, she's somebody fine auntie. Anyways. Yeah, come get one of them. <laughs> come get, get one of get your teeth one, your eyebrows, sexual stuff, weight management, all that good, good. And I have some primary care services coming as well, but we'll do that another time. 832-774-4994. Hit your girl up. And what's that IG information? IG at Next Level ULLC. And then it's the same name for Facebook if you're on Facebook. And I don't do Twitter. Okay. And no she problem. has a TikTok, but it ain't doing that. But, uh, <laughs> but website coming soon. Oh, there we go. Website coming We're soon, y'all. <laughs> so if I might ask, I'm not going to be before you long because it's been 30 minutes. Um, I, I truly appreciate it. Number one, I would love for you to, if you want to shop anybody out, this is your opportunity to. Speak on the people that influence you just to say thank oh, you. Oh, can be friend. a little or a I have a couple friends to shout out. My friend Angel, she's been down day one. Uh, Chanda, she's also been pushing me to do stuff with my business. Um, of course, you. You know, I want to be sitting here, everyone, for you. I have, uh, let's see, I have Travis. He's been down for me. Uh, her name's Angela. Uh, you know, I don't know y'all IG handles and all that stuff. So, hey, you know. Y'all just getting shout outs, names, and all that good. Oh, my right. sister, my brothers, don't forget about them because they come and support me. My mom, um, Ashanti. Shout out to Main Room. That's my pops, y'all. <laughs> Ashanti, uh, racing. You know, I call him racing, but they know it's Carl. Nephew. Nephew. <laughs> yeah, them boys. The nephews. Love them kids. <laughs> um, who else? It's a lot of people that's kind of pushing yeah. me on and kind of, um, you know, supporting me in their own way, and I appreciate it. Um, and let me see what else. Um, so for those of y'all forgot, it's nothing personal, but I'm big on the spot. Absolutely, she's she's getting an A right now. Um, so to end this, Capone, don't forget about Capone. Y'all know you're looking at for Capone's IG, y'all. I'm gonna make him famous. I'm mad that I missed Capone Alan. Right there, he's he in up the background here chilling. He up know? here barking at me every time I do something. He looking. Yeah, he was looking. That's so, my chill. Where would you like to see yourself? go from here with next level you uh, and, and personally oh yeah i wear this black man smile because that's for the teeth whitening y'all already but um next level i actually want to expand i don't have to do like oh next level you all over houston mm -hmm. i actually plan on taking it back home to kansas city um because i always like to get back to where i come from Absolutely. and not forget where i come from so um, I'm all about, like you say, humble beginnings. So I wouldn't be the person I am if I was, if it wasn't for where I come from. Um, and then after that, you know, sky's the limit. But definitely, goal is to get uh, Kansas City next level. You absolutely. And then, like you touched, about, you touched on it earlier, some IV infusions and stuff. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna try that. So y'all get out here and get <laughs> drunk on the New Year's. Oh, your girl, not now, but in the future. <laughs> But shoot, I'll tell you what, that's another episode of The 3%. I truly um, appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, New Year's is coming. I'm about to do some more things. I'm about to be at different locations. I'm going to take you on the journey of my weight loss. I'm here to support. It's a terrible tragedy the way this fanny pack is set up on my waistline. It's, uh -oh. it's going to be a lot of weight, loss to weight. But, um, you know, more than anything, I appreciate you. Thanks for pushing me. I would love to inspire you. Um, please come back, no matter if it's talking about next level you or even in you know we have i think we have some random pretty conversations, interesting conversations about things. Yeah. And, uh, maybe i can be his co-host y'all i'm <laughs> just talking stuff <laughs> you seen martin when gina was co-hosting oh no i'm better than gina y'all <laughs> <laughs> sorry teacher campbell but uh, 
But yes, this she is. She can't one. feel. No, I'm just joking. Not, oh, Lord. <laughs> but not like that because it's Oh, Lord, because she is looking for a stand. I'm telling you. <laughs> These young dudes. Hey, a stand? Stand. No, she don't you want know no what I'm stand. saying? She no, wants. she don't want no stand. But yeah, more than anything, um, I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you tuning in. Please look at the information. I'm going to put it in the um, bio section. I am going to make a collage. I am going to be here. I might invite you in because I want to get these Denzel Washingtons. I want some Denzels. Denzels. So I can smile and more. But more than anything, we appreciate you tuning in to another 3%. Yeah. Say smile, bitch. Pop your shit! Smile, bitch! <laughs>